This is Mark Tobias and Tobias Pusmanis with Security Labs. Uh, today we're going to do an analysis of three different uh, prescription drug containers. Uh, we analyze the physical security of these containers uh, for non-destructive entry uh, that we've figured out is possible in seconds uh, for kids. These containers are all designed to essentially lock up uh, prescription medication. Uh, they're sold by major retailers in the United States and of course they're also on Amazon. Uh, the problem is they all look secure and that is precisely the problem. Uh, who is this video for? It's for parents who need to understand uh, that what they buy may not be sufficient depending on their circumstances and um, what they what they want to protect against. Uh, there's a lot of drug abuse by kids and access uh, by strangers or other people going through uh, your home, uh, especially if you have narcotics. Uh, this obviously has been brought forth by the opioid crisis. Uh, we looked at three leaders in the industry. Um, these all are essentially boxes with combination locks. Um, they some one of them is very clever the design uh, bottle caps with combination locks uh, to prevent uh, removing the cap from uh, different bottles um, we interviewed uh, the CEOs or marketing directors of these three different companies uh, safer safer med vaults and lock med um, all of these companies I would say are well intentioned uh, they want to help fight the abuse of prescription drugs and they all acknowledge there is a problem. They've been involved in uh, with the CPSC, with uh, congressional committees, uh, with major organizations that are trying to combat the drug abuse, especially opioids in the U.S. Uh, the problem, uh, these devices remind us of the analysis of gun safes and mm -hmm. gun locks that we've done in the past uh, in prior videos. And the problem is they can often be opened by kids. Um, there isn't one security solution as uh, one of the CEOs of these companies who is a pain management specialist uh, pointed out in an interview that accompanies this. Um, you, people ought to be responsible for their meds. Frankly, there ought to be uh, some requirements from the doctor's office, from insurance companies, uh, frankly, legal requirements that you protect your meds. Uh, count your meds, make sure they haven't been tampered with. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, these there's an implied representation in my view that all of these containers will protect your meds. So the all the containers are made out of plastic or compressed material. Uh, but as I noted, uh, they all look secure, but in our opinion, they're really not. The critical question that you're going to have to address in watching these videos. Um, what is security with regard to safeguarding meds and who are you protecting against? We would certainly admit that for a three-year-old, five-year-old, maybe seven-year-old, these all of these containers are probably sufficient. Over seven years old, we would be concerned, mm -hmm. and especially as you get up into the teen years where there's much more drug abuse issues. Um, these containers will protect against access uh, for certain people. Um, the question is perceived security. We thought it was important that everybody understand the potential risks. Uh, these containers, some of them can be opened in seconds. Um, all of these containers look like they're made uh, in Asia uh, they're, and they're all inexpensive. These are $10 to about $40 a container, but the locks are probably a dollar, dollar and a half a piece. And that really is the problem. It's not the container so much, it's the locks. And there is no lock that's made for a dollar that is secure. And all of them, I think, have copied virtually the same combination lock design, uh, and they're really not secure. Uh, all of these are programmable combination locks. Um, 
I asked all of the CEOs or marketing directors involved in uh, the investigation for this, what do you consider secure? Because there's really no standards in the industry. Is it one second delay? Is it 10 seconds? Is it a minute? What do the consumers perceive that they're buying these boxes for? Uh, one of the companies said, well, this is really speed bump security, uh, just like the speed bumps in parking lots to slow you down. Um, that may be true, but the, our real problem is if your kids can get into these boxes, remove pills, close the boxes up, and you don't know about it. We're talking about covert entry, non-destructive entry, uh, and the kids, unfortunately, are experimenting with drugs. They're handing them out if they gain access to them, and that can be a real problem, especially if you're using opioids because one, as the doctor that I interviewed, one dose of opi opioid with the right combination can kill you. Mm -hmm. And so are these containers better than nothing? That's really a good question. It's, and as I noted, it's what you're protecting against and for whom. Toby, comments? Well, one thing that I wanna add is probably that we're gonna show you also some destructive uh, methods of, of entry. So it's not only that you, in some cases, will not detect that the, the cabinet was open, but sometimes it's so easy that, yeah. it's la that we have to take in consideration that. Well, and, and the other thing is once a lot of these combination locks are compromised, they're compromised permanently. Yeah. And so the parents may not know that, or they've spent Twenty, thirty, forty dollars on a container that now really is worthless. Yeah, and basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be opening all these containers, and you guys can make an assessment. This is really a, a problem for for a specific situation or not. Yeah, and I, and I have to say, all of the manufacturers that I spoke with in preparation for this. Uh, an article. Everybody was very cooperative. Yep. Uh, everybody sent us lots of samples. There was no hesitation. And uh, so we have a lot, we've gone through a lot of these to make sure yeah. that it's not a one-off issue. So with that, uh, we'll go to different videos for these different products. Thank you. Thank you.